What is going on, dudes? Today we're going to be going over this fully automatic log farm. You don't even need to AFK and hold down the right click button. Um, it's fully automatic. You can literally just let this run in the background. Uh, this design is Il Mango's. I just saw that he came out with the design today and wanted to put it together and make a really easy block by block tutorial that you guys can follow since he did not do that in his video. Um, in the background there, you can see my design for a fully AFKable uh, log farm. Uh, you do not need bone meal for this design over here at all. So let's go ahead and show you how this thing works right off the bat. Uh, but how this thing works is it's going to bone meal the night nylium right there um, the mechanism in the back is going to check to see if it's something that we're just going to push with a piston um, if it is something we're just going to push with a piston so anything that is not the fungus that you need to grow the um, huge fungus here the huge fungus uh, then it's just going to push that with the piston it's going to end up going into these hoppers and going into the composter right here and turning that into bone meal if it is actually the fungus that we need to grow the huge fungus, then this bone meal is going to come out and bone meal it, and it's going to create a huge fungus. And then that is going to trigger all these pistons. All the pistons are going to push all of the logs forward. And then we can have a TNT chamber over here that blows up all the logs, um, but that is not yet in the design, but you can definitely add that in. So we go ahead and turn this thing on, and you can see it's just pushing all those out of the way. And normally there would be a block right here. And when those get pushed, they go into the hopper here. Some issues that I found with this design is that some of the fungus, um, they don't get bone meal in the first bone meal. They, the first bone meal doesn't just make it uh, grow. So you have to go ahead and they won't grow every single time. So you saw there, that was our first one. That one did indeed get enough bone meal to trigger the mechanism. So yeah, when it grows, they will actually grow through this obsidian like so. As you can see, when this thing grow, it triggered all of the pistons all the way up and uh, pushed all of them out of the way. So eventually we're just gonna get a wall of logs and the warped wart blocks. Um, so we're gonna have to TNT those at some point to collect those, but let's get into this build. Hey there, once again, I wanna give you an opportunity to win a shout out. And all you gotta do to win a shout out is comment on this video and subscribe to me. And in about a month's time, I will choose a winner and shout them out in a video in the future. Cool, looking forward to shouting one of you out. Hope you enter the win. Let's get back into the content. So if you want everything to lay on the ground, you're gonna to wanna to build this warped nylium. Uh, four blocks off the ground like that. You're gonna want a dispenser aimed up like that. And then we're gonna need to get one uh, facing inwards like this. So just like that. And we're also gonna need a dispenser facing in on top of the nylium like that. And then go ahead and put an observer facing up right here. Put a solid building block on top of the observer like that. And then a note block on top of the dispenser. And this is going to be the dispenser that we are shooting the bone meal out to actually make the fungus grow. We're going to need a hopper going into that dispenser down there. We're also going to need one going in here. And we need to build this out a little bit like this. And then we're able to put a chest right on top right here. So go ahead and place your chest right on top of the hoppers like like this <laughs> and uh, you're gonna have to fill this up with bone meal so it's gonna have to be completely full let's go ahead and just put some glass blocks right on top of it like that um, I made too much room so you don't actually need you need the hoppers just to wrap around the observer like so so this is what it should look like so far so go ahead and put a composter right there and then put hoppers going into that from the side of the nylium like so can go ahead and break that out and then we can go ahead and put our chest right below it and then put a hopper facing into that now we need a comparator going out from the nylium to check when uh, this is actually turned into a huge fungi huge fungus and then we need a repeater set at four ticks and then right here we're gonna put a sticky piston and then an observer facing upwards 
And then over here, we're gonna put a solid block diagonal of the observer. Now we can put glass right next to uh, the solid block right here in the observer. Just put redstone on that for now. We can put some more nylium here, diagonal of the first piece of nylium. On the back of this nylium right here, just put an observer facing downwards like that. And then we're ready to put in our wall of pistons. Hey dudes, this is Dusty from the future. I'm actually editing the video right now. And I just wanna let you know this bottom piston right here does need to be a sticky piston. So make sure that this bottom one right here is a sticky piston. And you can make this wall as high as you want. Uh, these plants do grow super high. Uh, so I did make my walls um, really high. I made mine a lot higher than El Mango made his. And I added a repeater onto my redstone tower so that you could actually power this whole thing. So I'll go ahead and show you how I did that. Let's just go ahead and make this glass tower all the way up right now. So just go ahead and make a glass tower all the way up. Um, we won't actually be using this whole tower. I think we only need to go about um, halfway up this because the rest is going to be up the back. Now we need to delete all the glass pieces that we don't need. So like this one and this one so that we can make the redstone uh, current all the way up. And we're going to go ahead and count up about um, 10 or 11 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 9, 10, 11, 12. And this is where we're gonna put our repeater. And that means that we don't need any of the blocks above this. Go ahead and put your repeater here and then just have this redstone current loop all the way around the back of the pistons like so. And then this is where we're gonna continue up the redstone uh, tower. So just build another tower up the back like you did on the side and then get rid of all the blocks that we don't need so like all of these ones and then we just need to fill in redstone on all of these uh, glass blocks here now that's going to ensure that every single one of these gets powered when this thing triggers on the underside of this dispenser right here, facing into the nylium, we're gonna go ahead and put a observer facing backwards and um, just a, a block behind it like so, and then build another block diagonal down. And then we're gonna have a line of four blocks going this way. And we need to put redstone on each of these pieces. So then on this part down here, we put a dot of redstone dust and then three repeaters facing this way. And then these two front ones need two ticks on them. And we put a dispenser here before, we need to switch that out for a dropper. So go ahead and put the dropper facing up into the dispenser right here. Once you have that dropper in place, go ahead and put an observer facing into the dropper like that. Then we need a comparator on top of that observer and then a solid block across from the comparator like so. Now on this solid block, we need to put a sticky piston facing downwards like so. Put a slime block right there. Put an observer facing into the slime block and then put a solid block on top, on bottom of that slime block like so. Now this is gonna go off. All we need to do is go ahead and get a lever and put the lever, put some power into there. Just to stop this from making noise for now, I'm gonna put a lever on top of uh, this block here and make sure that those um, observers are not facing into each other. We're gonna remove that out later, but just put that there for now so it's not annoying and just making that tick noise. Now we need a solid block right next to that solid block like so. And we need to go ahead and put an observer facing into the solid block like that. Now we need two more solid blocks, one there and one there. And now we need to put power rail there. So this is what this section should look like when you have everything in place correctly. Observer facing into the solid block and power rail looking like that. Now we're almost done. All we need to do is fill up uh, this dispenser right here with bone meal and just fill up this chest with bone meal. Okay, so now you can see I have this dispenser full of bone meal. I have the chest full of bone meal. All the bone meal is going into this 
uh, dispenser as well. So that all looks good. When that happens, it's gonna power this comparator, which is gonna power the piston. So you can go ahead and take that lever off now. And I did just notice that we have a normal piston right there. We need to switch that out for a sticky piston. And now that we have that in place, this thing is ready to go. Just switch it on and it will go ahead and do its thing. Cool, well, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough, this block by block tutorial. If you did, definitely leave me a like. If you want more content like this, definitely subscribe. Uh, my name has been Dusty Dude and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye for now.